Let's be fair, but he's up for this. So we first had Niwa, a community chaos. This man, however, we've had World Trials earlier tonight. This man, Mike Bird, was in World Trials and won that match. He actually won that match and went on to face then champion of war, the heavyweight champion, Will Cruz. And here he is again tonight, facing Niwa, facing him for another chance, another pie of the cherry, to win the number one contendership to become... I was going to say, this match is to actually determine a number one contendership match. The winner of this match will go on to face our champion of war, our heavyweight champion for the gold at a later date, as Jake said in the intros. So Mike Bird knows exactly what it is, what it takes to get there, what it takes to win matches of this grandeur. To actually go on to face the champion. Niwa, however, has never been in this position before. He's never been the number one contender. This is his first, well, second ever match in World War Wrestling. Hello, Nick. It's great to join you here in the commentary booth. Hiya, Jake. Are you ready for this match? It's going to be an absolute doozy. Yeah, this is going to be an absolute war. No pun intended, Nick. I just want to say, what a night it's been so far. I I'm think... I mean, the Maori warrior, Niwa, making his World War Wrestling debut. But when you look at Mike Bird, not just his history with World War Wrestling, but everything he's doing all over the country. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Mike Bird has been on WWE before. He has been on Progress. He's still on Progress. I mean, everywhere he's been, he has been at the highest level. He was in War Trials. He won War Trials. I've told everyone. He, he knows what it feels like to get an opportunity at the championship. And if he can get the win, this one here tonight, he just gets that other opportunity once again. Yeah, but then again, saying that, so did Niwa, because he obviously faced Corey McRae at Community Chaos recently. He did, absolutely. He came up short on that night. I mean, I got decked with a spear in the corner, and things may have been different on any other occasion, but Niwa stepped up. He took the place of the injured Oddie Blake. 
and well that brings us to this it's for all the marbles tonight must say as well a special shout out as well to catch 22 which mike bird is the head coach of supplying some great talent from catch 22 of course absolutely and we've had km lane tonight from catch 22 we've had libby grace tonight from catch 22 so leading by example mike bird is in the ring showing them how it's done the wily old vet but don't <laughs> don't write him off just because he's a bit more seasoned than some I mean, you saw him take CJ Carr to the limit in that war trials and absolutely beat him to an inch of his life. He had that match with Will Cruz, which unfortunately he lost. He but did. what a match it was. But you look at Mike Bird, he's had a, a change in attitude recently. He's a lot more focused. He's probably in the best shape of his life right now. So he's fully focused. Niwa, probably the more aggressive out of the two. And I don't think he's quite got over that loss from Corey McRae. So he's more determined. If I was to say who's probably the more eager, who's probably the more determined out of the two, I've got to go with the Maori warrior. But you can have that aggression. You can have that eagerness. But if you let it get the best of you, that's when you start to make mistakes. Absolutely. I mean, I've said it to Coxie earlier on tonight when we had Danny Blaze in. There's no fault in the guy's ability, but when he lets things get inside of his head, that's when you can realistically come unstuck. That's when your attitude can play against you. There is no problem with confidence, but there's a fine line between confidence and ego. We've seen a lot of speed here tonight, but if you pay attention to this, it's the pace of this has slowed right down in this contest. Definitely. I mean, Mike Bird's no slouch. He knows that there is a lot of power and a lot of speed behind Niwa. So he is fighting. That there it is. Look, arguably two of the finest heavyweights in British wrestling today. Absolutely. I mean, it's a clash of styles because obviously you've got the technical savvy and the speed of Mike Bird, fresh from Wales, and then you've got Niwa, who's a violent, vicious kiwi. He's going to come to kick your head off and spear you into oblivion. Couldn't agree anymore, Nick. Honestly. I mean, there's not enough good things I can say about these two. They are the professionals' professionals, but they're no slouches either. I mean, Mike Bird will take full advantage. I don't want to be Mike. <laughs> Matt. You might want. He's braver than me. Yeah. I wouldn't want to get between those two. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now we're going to start seeing a bit more aggression. We're going to start it off with some catch wrestling, but uh, yeah, I think that's quickly going to turn. Yep, yeah, it started off all very respectful. Now, as you'll see, Nick. I know there's a lot of power, but these two can move very, very quick. They can. But if you also notice about what Mike Bird's doing, he's picking his spot, but it's never the same spot twice. No. Nope. So he will go for the solar plexus. He'll then pop the chest. He'll then pick a leg. He'll pick an arm. He'll pick an elbow. That was a vicious back elbow from Neymar. But then, and out of impact, nowhere. The oh. impact on that suplex. Literally, he picked him up with all that power, and then he dropped him down. It was almost like a brain buster, but not quite. Mike but Bird a little dazed there. On that shot that'll wake him up <laughs> oh. again the intensity Niwa just doesn't care he's got nothing to prove but maybe after losing to Corey the way he did maybe it just starts creeping to his head now look at this Nick Mike Bird using that weight advantage absolutely I, I know it's saying about speed the agility not many heavyweights can deliver a drop kick like that no, I mean, if you remember back to the war trials, Mike Bird went up to the top quite often. He did, as a matter of fact. And I mean, for a guy some of the best that this country has had to offer, including the likes of CJ Carter. Oh, straight in the back of the neck. But the thing that Mike Bird does specifically well is he will stay on his opponent. There is very little waste in motion in the things that Mike Bird does. And he will zero in on a, on a body part. He will pick it apart. He will work it like now. He's got all of the weight, all of the pressure on that neck, which keeps the faster, maybe debatably faster, Niwa down. Just based on what we're observing already, I mean, I'm no expert, of course, but I think probably the best thing to do would for Mike Bird to keep Niwa grounded. Keep him on the ground as much as you can. Wear him out, tire him out. Make him chase you if you have to. Pick a limb as well, though. Take away the power game because you can't lift somebody over the top of your head for that power game if you can't feel your fingers. But Mike Bird is definitely working his match right now. He's definitely got Niwa, which, to be honest, isn't the safest place he can have him at the moment. As we were saying earlier, two of the finest heavyweights, both are, without a doubt, more than worthy of becoming the World War Wrestling Heavyweight Champion down the line. But to do that, they've got to beat the unbeatable Corey McRae. They've got to beat each other first as well. Neither of these two men are going to let that go down. 
Neewar with some shots to the gut. Hard shots oh, to the stomach. Oh my god, oh, lovely back body drop. And there's the power of Neewar. Mike Bird nearly clean it, <laughs> clearing out of the ring. May have winded him, and there's that fire. From Look the at those eyes. Warrior. The man's possessed. <laughs> I mean, I would be too if I came inches away from winning the gold. Oh, but there's the wily vet. Baits him in and drops him on his head. <laughs> Safe to say Mike Bird knows every trick in the book. Yeah, he's probably forgotten about more about wrestling than we'll ever learn, James. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, another drop kick sends Neewar to the floor. Now, some people may say that it's a bit illogical that Mike Bird's keeping him on the outside, but he didn't. He kicked him to the outside, yeah. which caused him to spill to the outside. The outside is, is, is hard out there. That, we're on the floor here. This floor has no give. Right. So it's very, very clever. Now, again, look at just another idea of how powerful Mike Bird can be. He floored Niwa with a chop. Now, yeah, there's a lot of beef here, my friend. Yeah, we're, we're, we're safe here, right? Yeah, well, well I should hope so. They're, not, right. they're only about a couple of feet away from where we are, Nick. Well, they come over, I'm off. Yeah, me too. Into the steel ring post. My bird has the advantage. But he's taking his time. He's picking on that shoulder again. It was the shoulder he started on earlier in the match, and now he's trying to weaken it, which again, Mike is one of the sub spe submission specialists in the country. For all of his power game, for the ability he can bust out a standing drop kick as quick as a hiccup, Wearing he, that shoulder out of Niwa. Well, you take away the power game. It cramps up. There's no. All of those muscles are interlinked. If he can't go with that shoulder, then he's relying on one arm and two legs. But Mike Bird will think nothing of moving to a different body part, working that one. Niwa taking his time to recover, but he's got to be careful that he doesn't get himself counted out. I mean, it's one thing getting pinned, it's one thing tapping out to a submission, but when you have the stature of Niwa, you don't want to lose by a count out. No, and I think that's where World War Wrestling is different. People refuse to allow a count out. I mean, Sky Smithson in the past have, has had the ability oh. to win by a count out. Uh oh. I think it's fair to say that the Warrior has awoken. Headbutt. But Niwa does not go down. It's the battle of the headbutts. Who hits hardest? The Niwa's angry. Warrior. Uh oh. The Maori warrior is straight into the turnbuckle. Do you see the ring go there? Yeah, I'm glad we're still this far back. <laughs> but Mike Bird again. Zeroing now on the small of the back. Now I'm not sure if this is wise. You're giving him too much time to recover. I know you're tired, you're gonna feel that way, you're gonna feel exhausted, especially when you're a heavyweight. But it's giving Niwa too much. You can see Niwa's already on his feet, and that's what's gonna happen, Nick. But it wasn't just a case of the fact he was taking too long to get up there based on other things. He was also more worried about what the crowd was saying to him. Oh, we're gonna see a super. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Niwa, he's not gonna do this, surely. He is, he's gonna do it. Oh my god! Did you see the height on that, Nick Calloway? Both men are down. Oh, the front row felt that, the entirety of Stow Market felt that. My God. That's probably the biggest superplex I've seen in the war zone. The sound of that going off was similar to the one that happened at Champions of War 1 when Exodus powerbombed, well, no, was, sorry, I misspoke, when Titan powerbombed Exodus. Wow. It sounded like a gun going off and we're still feeling the tremors for that. Yes. Now we've felt this one, we're going to feel the tremors for that. Such rich history with World War Wrestling. But people come to play and people come to play hard. Look at this. Into the ropes, Mike Bird reverses. Oh, hiding cross body from the New Zealand Warrior. But Mike Bird straight back on his toes. And again, literally they just won't stay down. Beautiful slam in the centre of the ring. But oh. Niwa is just, <laughs> he's in a different realm now. Vicious elbow. We could be looking at a new number one contender. We could indeed. I mean, Niwa is literally picking him apart, and it was a good cover. He got body on body. He got great cover on that. It just wasn't enough. Mike Bird is not ready to go down just yet, if at all. But that that sequence, neither man would stay down. Mike Bird took a hell of a lot of punishment there. Niwa's called him for it. Up on the shoulders. Look at the power. Look at the power, Mike Bird, Bird slides off the back. Another reversal. Oh! That'll knock the wind out of your sails, goes for the cover, nice body on body. 
I mean, the amount of high impact moves on the small of the back that Mike Bird has taken and the front, he'll drive the air straight out of you and all of that weight from Niwa pinning you as well. Body on body. He's, he looks like he's screwing him up for the spear now. But that, again, will take the air out of you. Mike Bird is getting slower and slower to his feet. Now, I think it's fair to say that if Niwa can catch Mike Bird, it's all over. Mike Bird doesn't even know he's there, I don't think. Or maybe he does. No, Mike Bird knew exactly where he was. Speed, Nick. Mike Bird going up and over again. Take it off. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, lovely forearm. Niwa quickly back to his feet and a slam. Mike Bird retaliates. Now Niwa rattled. These two boys have just thrown everything at each other. Nice, body on body. Will it be enough? No, it's not enough. Just a few seconds away from a number one contender being crowned. <sighs> I hope that our champion's watching this. <laughs> he needs to watch this carefully. Indeed. Commissioner <laughs> Cox playing it very close to her chest. And so who's going to be challenging Corey McRae tonight for the heavyweight championship? I mean, if these boys are willing to do this to each other for the number one contendership, our champion, whoever it may be, come closer play tonight, needs to be aware what they're going to do to you. Absolutely. Because that's for the gold. This is for the number one contendership. These two, are, it doesn't even bear thinking about. Mike Bird behind. He's going for a German. Yeah, but Lee was in the ropes. He's holding on. Oh, wait. No. Oh! Long bridge. Beautifully. Now, I'm not sure if that was a kick out or whether Mike Bird could hold on for that long. That's the problem. The more these guys have actually gone through this match, the more perspiration. The fact that the grip will start to slip. I think after that superplex off the top rope, I think so much has been taken out of both giants. Absolutely, and they are giants of the war zone. They're literally leaving nothing unsaid. Just built solid as a rock. Yeah, but as you notice, Mike Bird is definitely feeling it, but he is definitely the first man back to his feet. Uh oh. Look That's at his it. chest. Look at the look in his eyes. I've never seen a man more determined. The straps are down. Niwa's prone. Bird's going hooked. No. Well blocked. At this point, Niwa's doing everything he can to stop my bird. Look at the strength. Oh, hangs him up on that on the midriff. Into the ropes and oh. straight to the back. Double the impact. Oh. Again, oh, now not the stomach. Where's he going? Oh, oh the elbow. Oh. Is it all over? There's one. There's two. Mike Bird quickly with the shoulder up. Very impressed with Mike Bird kicking out there because he took three moves straight to the stomach, which would have taken all of the air out of those sails. Straight across the stomach, then the kick across the stomach, and then the elbow from the middle rope, which would have been so much power behind it. Look at Niwa, Nee-Wa couldn't even get to his feet. And Matt Ball starting with the, the 10 count. But what happens if it's a 10 count? Do they both become number one contender? Maybe ne neither becomes number one contender, Nick. Who knows? Well, a night off for Corey McRae for a future defence, I'll oh, tell you. Oh, we'd never hear the end of that. We'd never hear the end of it if Corey McRae was... Oh, no. But both I mean, that's, that's, that's not... I'm not speaking on behalf of you, Nick, but that's not you taking our heavyweight champion lightly. It's called the Godfighter for a reason. But these two men... Talking of fighters, here we go. European uppercut by Mike Bird. And Niwa fights back with a forearm. And they're laying into each other like gods, dropping bombs. These two gladiators of the ring. They may have lost a little bit of sting in those punches, but they're still finding the mark. Niwa in the ascendancy sends Mike Bird off, catches him. He's got him hooked. No, Mike Bird slips out the back door. Oh, he's got him he's hooked. Got him up there. What's he power going driver? for? Is he going for a power driver? He's got him cinched. All the strength. Look at the power. Oh, power driver. Mike Bird with the pin. Oh, but no. Mike Bird has. He's taking it out of him. Oh, we could have had a new number one contender. But there's a. Oh, that, Nick, I think this is a big mistake. When you hit a manoeuvre such as the pole driver. That should be all she wrote, but Mike Bird... But now it's personal. Mike Bird wants to make a point. He wants to put the exclamation point on this match. The pile driver wasn't enough. I'm not sure if this is wise. I feel this Mike Bird he's may have made a very big he's mistake. He's going up there. Up. That's what I'm talking about, Nick. Look. Neewal's back up. up. He's not all the way with it, but he's back up. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my God! 
big mistake. I hate to say it, I have all the respect in the world for Mike Bird, but Mike Bird should have gone for the pinfall after the pole driver. Newell was down for at least five to ten seconds at least. But will that be it? Both men are still down. Will that be it though? Again. Matt Ball has got the he's actually got the count. Neither men. What's going on? Matt Ball. Can we seven. see this? The way both men slowly get to Who's gonna be first? Nine. Both individuals oh. are up, thank goodness. Oh, oh my bird! Goes him! He's got him stacked! Niwa kicks him off with such authority, he rolls him off completely. Niwa's got him stacked. Still only the two count though. Bird, there go. Is he going for the crucifix? Look at this! All the pins. How have these guys still got it in them to break out all of these various combinations of pin? Throw it over there from Niwa! Oh, look, look at, at the power! Man. Look at the car strength of Mike Bird going for another power! Oh, oh my god! Now make the cover, that's gotta be it! Gentlemen, that match was insane. At one point there, Mike Bird went for the power driver and instead decided to go up top for his flying knee drop. Wasn't successful on occasion. Uh, the, the pinning combinations, no man was wanting to go down. Mike Bird managed to trap Niwa and ultimately bust out another package power driver, essentially. And it was that that put the Maori Warrior down. It was that pile driver that did the trick. But this is Mike Bird. Mike Bird knows he's been to hell and back with this man, Niwa. That's a show of class. That is one hell of a show of class. And Mike Bird, if nothing else, no pun intended, he's a classy bird. He's a classy bird. Well played to Mike Bird. Well played to Niwa, but he came unstuck. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. On the rare occasions, that's what it's about. Niwa gave a great showing, but on this occasion, Mike Bird just had that, that veteran edge on him. And what a pile driver to put the exclamation point on that match.